Now, in related news to do with North Korea, the U.S. has taken its first tangible action against North Korea following its latest nuclear tests, with the U.S. House of Representatives passing legislation broadening sanctions on the regime. Our Connie Kim has the details. The U.S. House of Representatives has voted nearly unanimously to pass legislation that seeks to punish North Korea for its latest nuclear tests by expanding sanctions on the regime. The North Korea Sanctions Enforcement Act, which aims to deny Pyongyang the hard currency it needs for its weapons program, passed Tuesday by a whopping 418 to 2 with bipartisan support. The bill was first introduced last year following North Korea's alleged cyber attack on Sony Pictures, but was not brought up for a vote until Pyongyang's latest provocation. Under the legislation, sanctions will be imposed on individuals or entities that assist North Korea with its nuclear weapons program. Those transferring financial assets and property to Pyongyang will also be subject to sanctions. The bill also seeks to punish individuals and organizations that have contributed to North Korea's human rights abuses and facilitated cyber attacks against the U.S. It also prohibits the North from having weapons of mass destruction, counterfeiting goods and laundering money. Republican Ed Royce, chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, said this is the most comprehensive North Korea sanctions legislation passed by the U.S. as it uses targeted financial pressure to isolate leader Kim Jong-un and his top officials from the assets they maintain in foreign banks. To become law, the legislation must be passed by the Senate and signed by the President. Connie Kim, Arirang News.